hello students today we are here for uh, discussing about cftri and uh, although uh, we have already uh, discussed couple of times with salja ma'am now this is something different why it is different because we are going to talk about last 50 to 60 days it's almost 55 days uh, if, you, if you are going to count from now on but exact to be very precise 55 days right so the strategies are different at different times right if at the uh, if you uh, if you see any of the examples of uh, was or any of the strategies it's a different for different time zones right so for this examination also and uh, most of you who are joined in this webinar uh, you are very keen about uh, what are the important things that we are going to discuss about this time uh, about cftri if you have joined this webinar you are already aware of the cftri so mostly our discussion is going to be focused on cftri last days what should be the ways of uh, revisions what are the subjects to be focused on or it should be given equal importance as we have received the questions from the students okay so let's welcome salja who is the scholar mentor twitter and a lot uh whatever we are going to count it's less because what i'm uh from last two years i'm i know personally to salja i'm okay and she has been mentoring many of the students from this cftri's uh experience okay so yeah uh hello salja ma'am welcome to the session okay hi everyone okay. hello raju thank you for welcoming me right so uh before i'll just give a brief for a minute uh, cftri examination if someone is new or someone is preparing for next year so cftri examination uh, uh, which takes uh, which talks mostly about uh, food technology or we aspire or we want to do if someone is wishing to do food technology msc uh, for two years so they can uh, prepare for cftri intense examination this year it is scheduled to be on uh, 23rd of july and uh, we are going to talk about that only okay so uh, salja ma'am as many of the students has queries uh, how to prepare for this last two months okay now we have a two months if you going to count in a month june and july right 23rd of july is the examination so according to you what should be the thought uh, or mentality in last this this few days and we we know that we have a 10 subjects in this examinations and uh, each subjects has a different temperament right mathematics microbiology general affairs general aptitude okay and uh, uh, most of the subjects are totally different physics is different from chemistry math is different from physics agriculture is different from mathematics so how should one think towards that how should one tackle to the Uh, uh this time if you are going to count average also it is going to be five days per subject even not five even okay so please put your uh, thoughts on this okay hello everyone uh, to start with like there are 10 subjects as you guys know already and you know and you not to be mention the subjects also but these last like whoever have started preparation from one year or two year it depends on them it's good far better but for the people who are starting now it's it will be bit tough but not tough if you have a good strategy because strategy is the one which plays a very role so i mean it's not only strategy you should focus on things because focus is the key for success right so you should focus on things and this focus like over a period of time it will come you get you have to have consistency also see uh, what people will do i am speaking today so they'll go room they'll study one whole day and the next day they'll not study so that should not happen you should have consistency when coming to covering the subject see these there are 10 subjects like almost two are almost general kind of like mental ability and general awareness are these things you can like cope up with this thing this thing you have to know at least not all people will be knowing 100% but at least 25% you can manage if you are not knowing also like if you don't know any shortcut tricks in case of mental ability that you can manage it but there are other subjects that there you have to go for basics i say like everyone are from specific background of their bachelor make sure like now it's a period you should uh, have a concentrated towards your background which you, on which background you are from you should be stronger at that make sure now you should get stronger points still stronger we in which topic you are stronger or in which topic you are, feel i'm strong 
we should make it still more stronger so that no question from that topic is lost okay and next thing is go with the concepts go with the test series whatever test series you can find uh, like agrivision is providing good number of test series there you can go because there is always two uh, two method of uh, preparation I have said in n number of videos whatever I have prepared and now whatever prepared videos I have done with agrivision has said in all videos there are two types of preparation forward and backward preparation forward study with the book backward go with the question papers so now it's the peak time you can go with test series if there are some concepts like you won't get even in test series like when you go with the question you feel blank right for that you no need to study now it's not high time you can't study a complete book go with a crash course agrivision is also providing a good crash course you can go with that okay because crash course is somewhere you will be briefed about the topic so that you can quickly go with the questions okay that one will help you i know so many people will be not uh, not ready to take courses and all don't do that try to take it because it's just a two months if you want to crack it you should have little bit effort from your side also that also you can do it and now i don't feel like don't go for new topics don't read now new topics if you are new and if you want to start now preparation go for crash courses and test series this will help you and those who are prepared from almost one year or six months go for test series because these are the one which will help you to evaluate at which position at your which ranking you are there so this will help you for your entire preparation so during our time we were not having these all things we were not having facilities but you guys are having facilities go grab those facilities and grab the seats all right so as selja told uh, uh, there are two ways actually you can divide your strong topics and weak topics okay so uh, as you have joined this webinar you are already aware of safety and you might have gone to the subjects you might have gone to the topics so mostly you will be having see everyone either they are good in maths or chemistry or physics or anyone is good in any subject so you can keep aside that you can choose some of the things that uh, you, i mean you have to at least the majorly asked questions are uh, what is the one uh, safe zone 72 70 to 75 numbers that what you have observed in last couple of years is it's a safe zone okay so you have to prepare accordingly see maximum is 100 of course okay already you are aware of the pattern and at what saljam i'm told is uh, on the basis of dividing your your goals and also what we, we are telling is about crash course and if you have already couple of ideas you can go with self study or you can go with the crash course you can go with the test series that should forward and backward she told forward you go with the books and and uh, all the notes and then backward uh, uh, test series okay so salja ma'am uh, will be also taking some of the question that we have received with the students while filling the form uh, so first of the question is general question how to crack safety year exam exam so uh, what i feel like uh, we have discussed many of the times on this question although i'll give a rough idea on that see they are not as we have already discussed there are not a single way to crack this exam there are 30 students who is to do 32 in fact they is to, to qualify these examinations and each one of them has different strategy okay so we can't bind there is a one strategy okay uh, someone is good in math, someone is good in physics, someone is good in microbiology, someone is good in geology, botany. So they'll be scoring in their subjects. Okay. So uh, coming to second question, weightage of marks for each section. Saljam, we can put a uh, light on that. A uh, weightage of marks for each section. That means each subject. They they mean to say. See, there is no such blueprint. Still, no, I have seen in CFTR. There is no such blueprints because. They are not said this will be from this, like say from agriculture, I'm going, we are going to give 10 questions from uh, 10 subjects if I consider 10, 10, 10, 100, but they are not sure. Still now I have never seen such a blueprint in this uh, exam. If if it was blueprint, it was very easy to score. It was very easy to score. If we, I had a blueprint, I know 10 subjects, 10 marks each, then I would have concentrated and I would have left one subject which is pretty hard to me and I concentrate on the other subject so that I score whatever the marks which I have to score in the other subject which I'm leaving I can score here and I can score very good and get a grab a seat so but thing is there are no such blueprints till now I have seen 
has seen uh, question papers or there is, even they are not leaving you any question papers so that you can have a previous year question paper and study there is a one book which is based on completely based on memory based if like students who have written exam and uh, they do remember the questions and they can come and they'll give the questions and they'll give us to that book people okay but there is no blueprint and there is no question papers but when i have i have seen in some question paper one one year in some specific year it was biochemistry was more and in some other year agriculture was more in some other year maths was more so it is entirely unpredictable to be very frankly but the thing is you have to it is why unpredictable because there is no blueprint so only you have the strategy for your preparation so that this is where you have you have play the main role how you are uh, consistency how your strategy how your problem solving skill comes here because this is how you have to divide time for all 10 subjects because i don't know we don't know which question which topic will be majorly the question part in the question paper if say if you have done very good in biochemistry but what is the use on that year only one or two questions from the biochemistry and almost 30, 20, 40 questions from other like math or physics or it might be agriculture or even right. it might be even other topics. So it's not like that. So you have to handle with all the subjects. You should you should you should at least go touch this all the subjects. And this is not that like it's not that hard to know because they are asking you like J E and I I L T that level of questions that we know it is completely basic, but the thing is. 10 subjects are there, then you have to manage the time and even how to know the basics. If you are, if your basics are at your fingertips, you can easily crack the exam. Exactly. So uh, this is what we talked about, which is of marks. So that uh, what I can conclude from here is uh, nothing has been set up that uh, this subject will be having a, this this number of questions or this marks. OK, now next question is how to prepare for agriculture? and strategy for losing less marks in negative. That means there are two questions in this. Uh, how to prepare for agriculture first, and the second thing is how to reduce the negative marks. OK. So first for agriculture, those who are writing next year or come next to next year, for them, I'll say, uh, go read Name Ducks in the book, competitive, competitive book of agriculture. It's a Name Ducks in the book. That you can go, or if you can long term courses, or those who are preparing now. It's, it's hard to read complete name books in the book it in five days. If you read also, you can't remember scientific name of any plant, scientific name of any insect, and you True. get confused. There are diseases, n number of diseases, n number of insects, insect infestation on plants, horticulture crops, plantation crops, uh, cereals, pulses. There are so many in agriculture. Okay, if you start reading, no, you will get confused. This insect will go infect to other plant where it will not at all relate it. It will get confused. So don't do this now. You go for test series and crash courses for agriculture. Yeah, the, the next question was it is a general question. How to reduce the negative marks? It is for okay. everyone, I guess. OK, see, uh, always, always I have said this concept in every video. Question paper solving should be in three phases. Even though it is only one hour for you, I'm just giving an example. If the exam is only one hour also, you should solve the question paper in three phases. In the very first phase, you have to go through each and every question, and which you feel like is uh, the question answer. You can uh, you can answer that question within a five to ten seconds. That you have to quickly answer. Okay, quickly answer, and which are very easy. And hundred percent sure this is the specific answer for this question. That you have to go through it within and. 20 minutes of the first one hour exam. Okay, if I'm just giving an exam, if the exam is 20, one hour, within 20 minutes you have to solve all the easy questions, which you are 100% sure. Okay, once you are reading the question, you'll come to know this question I'm 100% sure, and the next question, which is like 50 50, might be this, might be that, like two options. You are confused with two options. Two options. Okay, next. 20 30 minutes you take to this two option question step. like there are some questions say in mathematics and physics it is lengthy you know how to do it you know the exact answer you know the formula you know how to do it but you need some time to solve it okay this question plus 50 50 question you should take almost how much 20 to 30 minutes you have to take 
here okay last difficult level question you don't know anything you don't know anything there are some questions you want to take a guess like i have somewhere heard in the class need me maine suna hai kahin pe if you want to take a guess if hmm. there are 10 questions if there are 10 questions take guess or take a shot try a try a shot only for 2 to 3 questions okay because even negative matters here okay so take a shot of 2 to 3 questions even though like four four wrong also only one answer will be lost lost you won't lose much mark so take a uh, take a shot or take a try or one experience try only for little amount of questions don't take for more amount of questions and always always remember this if the question paper is hard when you see it's hard it will be hard for everyone not only for you it will be hard for everyone so take in that during that time take number of chances less because it is hard if the question paper is easy take number of chances more because it is easy some people can score it very well who have prepared for almost one year they have given their day and night for them it will be very easy okay so for that if the question paper is easy and you know most of the questions are 50 50 i have heard there you can take more number of chances but if the question paper is tough don't go for more number of chances okay so based on that you have you know say you have done your degree you know the strategy to solve the question paper and see it is my perception it is my way of solving the question paper and it is entirely different from the person to person because everyone are not same right they are completely different so there is somewhere i have given you hint but based on your requirement based on your capacity based on your convenience you can change the way you, how you can solve the questions how you can escape from the more number of negative mark, marks and how you can take the chances so that you are having more number of chance for getting a seat so this is how you can manage all right this is more than enough for uh, reducing negative marks i, I believe now no one is going to reduce the, their uh, lose their marks in negative anyways moving ahead uh, the next question is study material for general awareness so guys uh, for this question i would tell you uh, what you can do is you can come to the website of agrivision for you can enroll you can buy crash course of agrivision for you you can get general awareness or i'll be also taking lecture in couple of days in a week or something you can join you can particularly go for uh, general awareness uh, ppts uh, how to do quick revision that is one of the question Okay. How to do quick revision? For the okay. quick, quick revision, I mean, uh, 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 one thing before uh, Salja starts, I'll tell you. We used to, to give short notes for this all the subjects. I can uh, you can get that short notes on our uh, uh, different platforms, and uh, I mean at the website or uh, uh, with our groups, or you can join the crash course. People who will be in crash course, they'll be al already getting. Or uh, also Salja, ma'am, ma please aid how to. quick revision and all okay as raj was already mentioned that you have to go for taking a synopsis which i am providing that would help you because it is very short exactly. and very simple okay if if students who ever have attended the classes if they have made any short notes also that is very good for you guys you can revise it very exactly simply. exactly true current i will say go for crash courses because it's a vast syllabus if you go for uh, revision also sometimes revision takes more time than reading it happens like that because if you are True. not knowing some concepts it will take more time so always try to find a smarter way so that you can be a very smart in choosing the answer and even taking a seat no oh, i and i mostly what matters is uh, practice and practice you can't Uh, do in two months and also you can read and practice both things can be done also you already uh, uh, more aware of uh, next uh, in the same row next question is uh, is there any changes in the availability of seats in 2023 i guess no salja if you are aware of anything no, no. no there so there are any change there are 30 seats uh, to be to be very clear uh, i'll Uh, clear this 30 seats are there there are two seats which is industry sponsored so there are total 32 seats as far as i am concerned 
to add you 32 plus 2 they have increased this year to okay. number of it and it is not for you guys okay See, i'll tell you it is like 30 is the one which you have to compete with two is industry sponsor and two is for defense person so it is not for you but to okay. be very fancy knowing 34 other says previously it was 32 only as what you said this year they have changed for 34 that is two is for industry uh, sponsor industry sponsor means industry should come to uh, college and say this is my candidate i'm going to pay fees for him everything and he will join for the course this is industry sponsor it's not like i'm doing in industry and you should have minimum two years of experience in industry and industry right. only should ask people to go join the exam and go join the courses that is industry sponsor it's not like i'm having two years experience i can go on from industry no industry people should ask or industry people should be the one who we who are interested in you to go join who will come with you and say that that is industry sponsor and two is defense that you will have major majors and captains from the defense you will be not in this the 30 seats which are there that within that 30 only all over india you have to compete for that all right all right thank you uh, okay so next question is is two months sufficient for preparing for CFT the exam so that's what i wanted to answer this uh, it is not enough although uh, because uh, we have a 10 subjects and uh, 10 subjects can't be uh, even if you give five days also per subject uh, it is going to take at least 50 days and uh, no subjects can be covered uh, whatever the syllabus that is given in the cftri uh, syllabus uh, in five days okay so although you can give a try of course for uh, uh, two months right so next question is also to know about the most important concept in each subjects i guess you can put a little little uh, light on this a uh, little little concept which is uh, salja can tell better uh, important topics from each subjects or uh, all the our main subjects we can say See, whatever uh, it's like I have said already, there are no blueprints, so you can't uh, judge which is topic is important. Exactly. Not important. So you should go for each and every topics. You should go read. Like right. if you want to have a good scoring by hook or hook, I want to enter into CFTR, then you should have each topics to be read at least once. At least once you have to. True. Read. So. And 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 Salva, one thing more. Yeah, uh, one thing more, what I've seen in last couple of years is uh, uh, two from two years I'm absorbing, they every year they'll be changing the pattern. Pattern in the sense, uh, the yeah, concepts, yeah. they'll be picking something different every year. We don't have idea. So this is the thing. So you have to be very uh, thorough with each subjects, what Salja Mam told. So, Actually, this yeah, is the what. year they have not changed the syllabus. Raju, on the previous year, we, we have done almost 11 subject course for every student. At the end, we yeah. have only 10 subjects. They removed for <laughs> technology, you know. So, this is the year they have not changed the syllabus. So, you guys, you are lucky True. in that manner. But the thing is, you have to <laughs> prepare for each and every topic. There is no shortcut in this, but you can have a smarter way for your preparation by going so many True. crash courses. This is your smart way of preparing a smarter way of strategy for preparation of CFTRI, but there is no such shortcut to be very frankly speaking. You have to have a little bit of effort. Very true, very true. Uh, coming to next question is how is the selection criteria? Is it purely based on entrance exam or even in, uh, even includes CGPA? So I'll, I'll answer this. So guys, there is no uh, uh, inclusion of any CGPA or something. It is purely based on entrance examination. You will be getting your uh, list uh, particularly by rank voice and uh, from top 30 uh, like whatever the seats as Salja mentioned they'll be particularly mentioning these are the community based or industry sponsored and everything and uh, nothing is uh, any inclusion till now for the CGP or something for any year. Uh, coming to next uh, question without fourth year second same marks card how to fill application form and after, pro after procedure so this is the confusion of many of the students Salja. Uh, one of the students asked like okay, sir i have I mean uh, let's say fifth uh, fifth semester or sixth semester or i i have received my results till uh, fourth semester so how to fill the form just give a little bit already we have made the video on how to fill the form so you can either uh, see that video or we'll be just giving a highlight on that salja if you have idea on that okay 
see uh, at last semester if you don't have also you can apply but they have given the provision like if you are after exam whenever you get you have to reapply it or re uh, upload it if not during admission you will have to make sure it is present in your hand or else they'll reject the form usually they'll do this this is the very uh, strict rules in cft they'll directly go rejecting even though you are a top ranker of the cft and at least so make sure you will run what happens you know even though you write some in the universities will delay for giving the marks sheet and all then you can request for the university vice chancellor saying that this is the exam i have written and they are requiring this or else what they'll do you can even give the slip they'll give universities will give the slip that she has passed and we will soonly will give this result so please uh, that also is fine but uh see it is a by chance i don't know how it actually works now but the, when we were getting admitted we were strictly asked to get all the like if i am four year degree four year eight uh, eight uh, semester grade cards are strictly asked for us if i'm not uploaded like last semester also but they have asked me to upload at the end and to get during the admission they'll check so make sure you ask those uh, departments to give a letter saying that uh, because of this exam and because of this university i want an english form and they'll give you they'll give you within some days okay the 10 20 days they'll take a time so they'll give you but make sure you should have in a english only okay this is the way you will uh, like or else they'll ask you so many questions and all and even they'll give, give you some issues because it should be centrally certified and even this caste systems and also no make sure you know very well there are so many issues in ews whoever has having ews do that and all but make sure you should have all the documents in a english form and don't worry about the eighth semester if you don't have also last semester you just apply but try to get during that admission so ask the dean to give a letter so that we will keep the document as soon as possible that is fine right very true so you have uh, got the idea what are the important thing things that should be kept on while filling the form and also after the form to take the admission okay now next question is do we get to use calculator during the exam no so calculator is not allowed you have to do uh, uh, manual calculations also what are the best books for agriculture uh, so uh, i believe we have discussed more on that uh, namely sundar book that is one very famous book that everyone talks about and it is very big book uh, we have a lot of data so what we discuss uh, in beginning of the session is uh, go with the crash course also i'll recommend practice is very important practicing with the uh, either it let it be a memory based questions also it gives you a roughly idea what could be the paper uh, idea of the paper okay so that you can go all right so with this note thank you so much saljan thank you so much everyone for joining and listening this making this webinar very fruitful